Welcome, welcome, <clears throat> and this is Kerbal Space Program, uh, my newest project, I wouldn't even call it project. This game is, uh, this is basically the demo of Kerbal Space Program, a game that seems to be in the development for quite some time, maybe two or three years, something like that. Uh, what is the point of this game? Well, it is a uh, and what is the point of me playing this game for you? By the way, I'm G99, uh, Gabriel here. I probably introduced myself already, did I? Never mind. Uh, what is the point of Kerbal, Kerbal Space Program? Well, we launch rockets here. Uh, and I will show you one of my rockets and we will see how far it can go. Uh, this is the vessel vehicle assembly building where we can create uh vehicles <laughs> space vehicles uh you can create custom uh rockets here uh but i will load uh my beta limo 1 spacecraft my probably one of the best spacecrafts i created so far which is quite scary when you look at it uh but don't worry don't worry uh, depending on how you play, uh, you can quite allow this uh, damn thing to go quite high in the atmosphere. Uh, you here have some commands, uh, elements that can you can create the rocket with. But I will not bore you with this. Uh, let's go to the pure fun. Let's launch this thing. Uh, this game is more of a simulator itself. Uh, than any other thing, because at the moment there is no economy in the game. Uh, first of all, what we do, we play we play SS, SAS and RCS. Uh, I think these two are quite important. You here have my launch uh, place, whatever. Space drone, Kerbal drone, or Kerbal NED something. That's the more the main element where we really want to go. That is the moon, or rather, uh, here you have <laughs> the moon. Uh, this is the view of the planet. You can go quite uh, far away to the orbit of the whole planet, the planet itself, and that's the far as it, it goes. Uh, which means uh, later on you can have more than just this one uh, Beta Lima 1 as you can see uh, let's launch the thing and here we go uh, the SA, SAS and RCS they, these are the stabilization modules if I turn them off the rocket will just I will have to do it manually uh, with these, uh, with the lower uh, right, lower le left corner uh, elements. Now we get out, get the main rocket speed. You can also control the throttle. Uh, you don't control the g-force, to be honest. But let's we'll see how this works. As you can see, it's already starting to get funny. And the lower right corner, you have your three. Uh, astronauts, these are Kel Kerbals, named Bill, Jebediah and Bob. Uh, they are here, in this thing, in the capsule command module. Now we'll see how this will work. We are 26... 203 kilometers into the atmosphere. I usually... my, my record is around 120, 130, I think. Uh, we'll see how this works. At the moment we have quite nice force uh, at the bottom, but the fuel is going down as you can see. I have one fuel... Uh, I don't know really why. Six, seven kilometers. But the fuel is... Mm, at its end. What now? Uh, yeah, now we get a... Get this down and we're still going up I want to yeah now we uh, the higher you get the the engine has to go running the, the, at the most 
highest point of the amplitude. But we, you can in this uh, you can see how my <laughs> how this looks like. Uh, uh, what is the ap uh, what apoapsis? But we're still going up, and I have still in this uh, in Alpha Lima One I pro I created two more engines. So the moment the la the engine that is on now uh, runs out of fuel, we will just switch to another one. And we'll see how high this will allow us to get. We are 14 kilometers into the atmosphere. Let's lower the throttle a little bit. Uh, it doesn't... no. Higher. And to be honest, this is the thing you should be doing in this game. You should uh, try to get this the space module as high as possible to make it to make to the orbit. Now, what is the problem? Is the thing that usually ah oh yes again usually this game uh, looks a little bit different. Uh, you can also speed up the time here, but I don't want to do that. Uh, 16 kilometers. Uh, and let's try. Yeah, moving this a little bit. Yeah. Oh no, not this one. Here. Let's see. Chase camera. I don't know what this gives us, but automatic camera might be better. Let's lower this a little bit more. 20 kilometers into the atmosphere. Nice. And do still we have one more engine at our disposal. Now, it, yeah, now now is looking much more promising. Bill, what's with you? Don't worry, everything was fine. We have we have a parachute, by the way, at the command module, so. Let's see. Yeah, let's wait until we get to the highest point. Three, 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 five, right? And then we will start the final engine. Three, two, three, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. And let's pump it up. But it still seems we are going to land into the sea. And uh, maybe, oh, maybe like this. Mm, doesn't look good. Let's lower the throttle a little bit. Six. Now let's go. Let's. Power up! And we'll see how this works. Yeah, yeah, it's working somehow. I don't know how. But it is working. Uh, but I doubt we will do it. I doubt that, the, that we will take the orbit. Because there is not much fuel left. 54... 55, 56 kilometers. Nice! Nice! Uh, but still, I doubt that we will get this working. Sorry, I, I lose a little uh, with the controls. Yes! That's the end uh, of the fuel. And as you can see, whoa! The uh, Apoapsis will be very high, 195, uh, 195 kilometers. Let's speed this. Uh, nice, but still uh, not close enough. Hmm. Speeding. Oh no 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 one. And as you can see now, the meter is showing. We're going down. What a shame.
But 100, that's quite okay. 195. 195. My record, to be honest. I think. And of course, we accelerate with quite a big, with, with a speed. Bill has problems. We will open the parachute and they will probably be quite okay and safe. Let's open the parachute around four. And never mind. Here's the parachute. Went out. And yeah. We're land in the middle of nowhere. Because the planet doesn't seem to be extremely well developed. Well, better than uh, it, it was a fine launch, I think. I think so, at least. I highly recommend check this game out uh, because, to be honest, I haven't showed you yet the greatest fun in all this. Because the greatest fun in all this is during the launch when something goes wrong. Uh, yeah, we can move it around, but it will not change anything. Uh, but I wanted to start this series because I will try to record more than just one landing. Uh, I will probably create some more devious and more complex rockets later. Uh, but since this game is totally free, I highly recommend check it out. Uh, what we can do when when we land, we can go end flight, and we have here a sum up of events: what happens when fuel crashed, uh, boosters, what happened to the copter, separation of stages of of the rocket. We can also have here mission achievements. Uh, it was 15 minutes, mm, 18 seconds. The al the altitude achieved 100. 95 kilometers, highest speed 1.546 meter per second, blah blah blah, ground distance covered, total distance. And we can go back to the vehicle assembly building, that's of course uh, for the moment if you want to change things. Like in this rocket I would probably have to remove this, because it's not doing anything. Those boosters are useless. They and the whole racket looks like this. Uh, I highly recommend this game, really try it out. It's something uh, funny uh, and the project looks nice. Uh, as I said, this is the demo version. The more... what is the call? There is a version for $15, uh, which is a sort of a pre-order of the game, when you get uh, everything that they have uh, already done. And there are some really funny situations there, plus, uh, a pro I think, a possibility to uh, launch uh, different. to launch. Uh, how to call it? Hmm. To launch more than one rocket. So you have a rocket launched and it goes on orbit somewhere. You can land on the moon, probably. Etc. Etc. Uh, and. That version is something that I will really try in the near future, I hope. Uh, so, we can leave to the main menu. And that was Kerbal Space Program. Version 0.13.3, built from last year. Thanks for watching. Uh, G99 here, Gabriel. I hope you had a pleasure time seeing that I, don't sk that I, that I had no astronauts killed in action. See ya!